the first um, big test uh, for Liverpool. I think yeah, they've been idling along uh, at the present moment. Look, not to say that they, they haven't played some good football, but they've been ambling along when it comes to the teams that they've been facing. Now here's a first big challenge against a side that's playing some really good football. Two new managers within the Premier League. It's now the big test of how you handle such a massive, massive encounter. Generally, where do you think this one is going? Uh, can I call Pep on this one? Yeah. <laughs> Pep played uh, Manchester City played Chelsea and uh, he played, I think, actually, West Ham, I think, when they played. And then he said, now the league begins. <laughs> <laughs> After they beat in Chelsea, yeah. after they that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not putting my stock in Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're written off by Pep. But, yeah, like you say, I'm to be fair, mm-hmm. why you say that? You are saying that because you didn't prepare enough. You're saying that you use some of the first few matches to to prepare to get in shape. That, that's the assumption that I. You do not. You are not expected to sharpen your teeth. It should be a chicken It should be a chicken bonnet. But they made you do a chicken bonnet. So oh. yeah, look at that unslot he, yeah, he's got uh, the short head uh new sala. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, he's, he's trying to put the combination together and coming from uh the the, the international break. Generally when this players go on international break, they come back, they play three, four games, if not more, in, in, in about 10, 14 days, there's a lot of them out. Mm-hmm. And looking at it it will take its effect on on Liverpool. They have so many international stars that start each and every game for their countries. Belgium, Netherlands, mm, yeah. and stuff like that. They move them out. Do they have enough depth to say, you start, then we'll bring in someone else? Mm. I think they do. Does Chelsea have what it takes to contend with Liverpool bringing the game to them in the first half? I don't think so. Chelsea would need to defend with everything they have. And in defense, they don't have much. All right, you're talking about defensively. Sean, uh, personally for me, I think Chelsea does more than enough in attack to kind of stave off um, what maybe Liverpool might throw at them. I think that front row has clicked very well for them. The addition of Jadon Sancho seems to be working magic of for them, particularly on the left side. Noni Madueke seems to uh, be a decent threat on the right uh, right hand side. And somehow, some way, Enzo Mareska has got Nicholas <laughs> <Jackson's> <laughs> scoring. <laughs> scoring. So uh, it, it seems like Chelsea are, are definitely a force to reckon with and not to discount uh, the man who operates at sub-zero temperatures, Cole no Palmer. <laughs> Cole Palmer is just uh, playing the game of his life. You know what I'm seeing about Cole Palmer is that initially you think he's sticking out wider than he was last year. So his touches in the boxes, they've actually gone down this year. But he's so precise. That left foot of his is like a wand. And you can see what he does with them. I think Chelsea, they're a good team. Uh, it will be the first test for Liverpool. But Liverpool has lost already <laughs> to Forest. So meaning that calling it a first test is a bit of a stretch. But I'm thinking it's a good game, it's a fair game, and you'll see Mareska the way he's... I mean, they, they concede goals. Chelsea concedes, mm-hmm. but Chelsea are scoring goals. Yeah. So, on a slot, it's also, you look at Ryan Gravenbeck in, in the middle of the park. I think it's a bit lightweight, he's good going forward. Mm-hmm. So, you find that when it's hammer time, you might struggle. I think for me, it's 50-50. It's one. Uh, uh, which team is it on? It's uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. At, at it's going to be difficult. That's by sheer force of knowing that they're playing it on full. Yeah. And you know, the silent player for Liverpool is uh, Dominic Sopostein. Yeah. <laughs> That's the guy you need to watch. He's the you don't see. Him. He seems like he's not there, but he's yeah. there. Yeah. But the Bayern will start with all on the bench. Yeah. So there's already enough depth yeah. there. So Virgil Van Dijk will play the second match for for, for the Netherlands. Mo Salah is going to play the second match. Yeah. So in terms of match fitness, I think Liverpool are shading it just by being at home. I think they'll win it, but it should be a belt of an encounter. Yeah, yeah look, uh, okay, for me, I'll defend Chelsea. I want Chelsea to win. 
attack, well, that comes from my rivalry, of course, with Liverpool as a Man United fan. But I think that this is where I feel that Chelsea might have uh, a little bit more. And you spoke about the midfield, which is where I was going to come into. I feel like as if uh, Moises Caicedo has settled much more into that role uh, in the middle of the park. He's really playing that role much better. Would say, not a shade, maybe just a step lower than what a Ngolo Kante, a prime Ngolo Kante would do for Chelsea in the middle of the park there. Uh, especially when they won the title with Antonio Conte. He's really uh, commanding that midfield. He's also lethal as well when he does carry the ball forward and allows the others to get into it. So I'm feeling uh, that that is where for Liverpool they'll have to be careful. Liverpool's challenge in my own view is that when you look at their midfield three, which most likely will consist of an uh, Alexis McAllister, a Ryan Gravenberg and um, give or take, it might be Dominic Sabosla, like he might be in there, uh, or maybe they might choose to go with another one, um, all dependent how that one will go. My feeling is that all these three generally operate more as central midfielders and not necessarily that gritty defensive midfielder that they had, especially when they won the title in Fabinho. Fabinho was very much that person who would brush up the middle of the party yeah. and ensure that, you know, nobody was very fast into the defensive line. Um, so that my general feeling will also be there. And then, of course, let's not forget the defensive frailties of uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold when he leaves that back, uh, at the back a little bit open there. That will be dangerous against someone like a Jadon Sancho. He will go there for days. A Cole Palmer will go there for days. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think Trent will struggle against Sancho. Is that Sancho is not the quickest. Yeah, yeah. He needs time on the ball, yeah. with Sancho. So you'll find that at United, for example, why you you are always going to face. You don't have Jadon Sancho and Bruno Fernandes playing together. They are slowing the oh, play down. Yeah. In the world, Rashford, he thrives on pace. Mm-hmm. He's making runs in behind all the time. Sancho wants to take it back. When he throws to uh, he and then he massages the ball. So in that way, Rashford is, is offside. Mm-hmm. So but at Chelsea now, he's allowed to play that sort of football. Yeah. So Trent likes players that are quick. I take him out of defense. Mm-hmm. So that if you find that he struggles in terms of positionally, he doesn't know that he's a right back sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But one thing about him is that going forward, he will more than makes up for it. He makes yeah. up for it. Yeah. 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 So my, my, my money is on Liverpool because I'm looking at the front line. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The front line. Rather than, and I'm counting on Chelsea's DPS too. <laughs> yes, to crumble, yeah. You want Luis Diaz, good goal scoring form. Gio Bajota, good goal scoring form. Sala is getting there. Darwin Nunes is there. He was this. Four guys that they can score. Right? Yeah. That combination, anyone can start to anyone. Mike will and that, okay, definitely somebody's going to score. So I'll give it to Liverpool. Come on up to make it three. Mm-hmm. Two one. All right, two one. Yeah. Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, 3-1 three, 3-1 one, three, one. <laughs> You know, Cole Palmer is just all off the back of a poor international break yeah, yeah. How does it do on his psyche? Yeah. He, does it motivate him? Or is he deflated? So that also, I, for Chelsea to win, Cole Palmer is to have the game of his life yeah. Other than Palmer, I don't think Sancho can lift him to that level yeah. Nicholas Jackson, if you rely on Nicholas Jackson yeah, 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 in yeah, trouble, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay. uh, Trent Alexander, Joe Gomez Play, play with Cole uh, Palmer and uh, Sancho and for the three lines. Yeah. So they know, okay, these guys are three players. They've been they're sitting on the bed for the three lines. This guy is touching. So that confidence that they have oh. is there. So you can also come on for those two guys. <laughs> but you know what? Chelsea needs to defend. That's all I need to do. Oh, yes. ah, so, a so, so quote from Kukurela saying that he's been targeted. I don't know where he's getting that from. No one even remembers that he's the one that assisted. Yeah, it's like, and to be fair, I don't think he's one of the greatest in terms of. Uh, no, I think he has improved. He has for improved me, his game, but it's not great. No, no, no. no. For, for me, in Brighton, he played well. Mm. Remember, I'm Pep wanted it. Yeah. It's always a sign. If Pep wants to play, Pep, Pep knows the play. So for him, he struggled the first time going to Chelsea. But after it was the back end of last season, I think he came into his own. At the Euros, he had a very good tournament. And even the start of this season, he's been playing well. So I think he's a confidence player. So he says, he talks a lot, 
I think they even sort of like a way to psych yourself up ahead of big moments to boost the air. Well, let's see whether he will be able to deliver the goods on the day. Liverpool versus Chelsea, Sunday the 20th of October, starting at around about 5 p.m., I believe. Uh, 5 p.m., 5.30 kickoff. Uh, so that will definitely be one. Yeah.